everyone, this is Sally with The Polka Dot Life. Welcome to my stamp studio. I just had a delivery from UPS of all of the new things that I pre-ordered from Stampin' Up. These products will be available to customers on May the 2nd, but as demonstrators, we get the opportunity to order them early. And so we have a lot of new things to look at, a lot of new colors, so exciting. I'm very excited about the new color refreshed palette that we have and our new in colors, so many good things. And then just products from the new 2023-2024 annual catalog. So let's not waste any time and get straight to the fun. I received a big order from Stampin' Up! yesterday and I wanted to show you some of the fun things that I received in my boxes. First of all, this is the cover of the new 2023 to 2024 annual catalog. Guidelines state that I cannot show it to you, the inside, until May the 2nd online. Now, if you've been a customer of mine over the past year, look for getting one of these in your mailbox about mid-April. If you don't receive one and think you should, please reach out to me. Or if you are new to me and don't already work with a demonstrator, send me an email at sally at the polka dot life dot com and I will get one out to you. This year, Stampin' Up! has done what they refer to as a color refresh. So we retired several colors out of our line. Now we always have in colors that stay for two years and then they leave. So this is just a revamp of our main color lineup. And so some colors are new and they've brought back some favorites from the past. These are the new colors for our core lineup. First up, we have Lemon Lime Twist. And this was a returning color. This is a returning favorite. In fact, I know at one time it was one of the biggest sellers in Stampin' Up! So we are very excited as demonstrators to get this back. And I am sure that a lot of customers are as well. In fact, I never got rid of this cardstock, so I didn't have to buy new. This is another returning favorite. This is Berry Burst. And it's new to me because it um, wasn't part of the lineup whenever I joined Stampin' Up! So this is a new color for me and a returning favorite for many. This is Pretty Peacock. And it is one of my returning favorites. I never got rid of this. I love this color. I don't necessarily love it on its own, but when you pair it with other things, it is really a beautiful, rich color. This is also a returning favorite for me. This is Blueberry Bushel. I did not get rid of this cardstock either, and so I didn't have to buy that one again. Many of you will recognize Fresh Freesia. It was part of our 2021 to 2023 class of ink colors. The rest of those colors have moved on, but this one has stayed and it is a great color. It goes well with so many other things. This is another one of my returning favorites. This is Misty Moonlight. This is a great color for boys. It's a great color or country kind of themes. It's just a great color of blue to mix with other blues so that if you wanted to do just a blue card but have different shades, it works well with our other colors. Not only did I have remaining cardstock, I had an extra unopened package of cardstock if that tells you how much I love this color. I want to say I believe I heard Shelly Gardner say this was one of her favorite colors at one time. This is a returning color as well, but it is new to me. I've never worked with this color. I think it's going to be really nice. It's kind of one of those blue grains. Um, I think it's going to play well nicely with a lot of other products. This is a new color to our core line and to all of our line in Stampin' Up! This is Azure Afternoon and it replaces kind of Pacific Point. Pacific Point was one of those colors that retired. It's kind of the same you, but it's just a little bit different. And I think that this will be fun to play with as well. This color is Pecan Pie. 
and I was really hoping for cinnamon cider to return, but if I can't have my cinnamon cider, this is a pretty good replacement. It's a good medium brown. It's a little bit darker than cinnamon cider was, but I think that this one will work out great. This is a new color, and it is called Bubble Bath, and I really like it. Um, it's a little bit more lavender than I expected. I was really hoping for just a pure baby girl pink, um, but this, I think, will play nicely with some other things. Um, let's see here. Just what I have out. Just to give you an idea, this is Fresh Freesia up against it. So you can see that it definitely does have a lavender tone. But I think that this is good. I am not a Petal Pink fan. It's too muddy for me. So I think this is going to be a good alternative when I need a light pink. And finally, from our core group of new colors. This is called Lemon Lolly. I love this. I think it's very different from anything that I have ever had in Stampin' Up. I've had bright yellows. Um, I've had the So Saffron, but it had a little bit more of an orange hue to it. So this is a really pretty color, and I'm excited to use this one as well. Now for our 2023 to 2025 in colors. We have Wild Wheat, we have Moody Mauve, we have Copper Clay, which I think this is a good color too. It's kind of somewhere between brown and like terracotta. I think that that is going to be a great color in our line. Then we have Pebbled Path. I think that's a pretty color too. I think that it could reflect some brown when it's with browns, and I think it will reflect grays when it's with grays. And this is boho blue, and I think that that is just such a pretty color blue. I don't know what it is about the blues this year. I am not typically drawn to blues, but this year in clothing, in crafting in all sorts of things, I am being drawn to blues. Since we had a color refresh, we have a lot of things going on. And so while I still had a couple of my blends of the old colors, I went ahead and got new just because they, especially with alcohol markers, they do evaporate and dry out. So this afternoon, I need to get all of these put in my tower storage, my cube storage from Stampin' Up that is on my craft desk and get them matched up with their correct ink pad. I love that Stampin' Up looks out for us as demonstrators and we're also customers. And so since we had so many to do, now the blends don't come in big groups, but the Stampin' Right markers do because they've been refigured. And so we were able to order the in-color ones, and the new core colors in the new markers. Now, I will say this. If you own the other markers, unless you are just drawn to these, those are going to be just fine. I would not put my dollars there when there are other things that you want. But let me just pull out one, and it's not going to look good on this paper that I have here but I just kind of wanted to show you. I'm gonna move these off because I know that glares with my lighting. So this is copper clay. And we have, again, we have the brush side. And you always want to avoid using the tip of this directly if you can. It will make your life of your nib of your marker last a lot longer. And then on this nib, they've changed it a little bit. And um, it's just, it's nice for writing. Um, it just draws a nice small line. I like that. Remember with both of the Stampin' Write and the Stampin' Blend markers, you wanna store these horizontally. And that is what makes our storage components, our cube kind of components, very nice because they do hold both of them this way and it will hold your ink pad right beside your stamp and write marker and then then we have other ones that you can put the blends right along the top of each color family is how I do mine. One of the most crucial things that we need to, especially as demonstrators but as customers, um, I know many of you like to keep 
the entire line of colors that we need to do when there's a color refresh is buy new ink pads. I did have some of my old ones, like the blueberry bushel and so on, left, but Stampin' Up! has advised us that probably isn't good that they've been sitting unused for a few years. And so they actually went ahead. So I have this grouping of the new in colors, but they are actually selling a combination pack of all of the new colors to the core line. So that's your returning um, old, old favorites like Misty Moonlight, so on, that had been retired, and then the new colors that they have developed. Some of you are finding out now that buying ink refills when things go to retire is difficult. Things sell out very quickly and they don't replace them. I will tell you, do not ever, ever order an ink pad. I mean, replacement one, yes, if you need to, but when a new color comes out, do not ever, ever buy the ink pad without buying the refill right along with it because it just makes life so, so much easier. These last a really long time. You can put a dot of these on a stamp block and use your water painters and paint with them. You can put them in our misters. You can spritz things. You can um, just do like baby wipe techniques and all kinds of things with these ink refills. So don't think that it is a waste of your money because when you have it, it's going to free you up to do some more things. Plus, you'll be able to re-ink your pads whenever they are needed. So I have all of those as well. Now, I am going to bring in this copper clay ink pad. If you are new and you've never done this before, I want to show you how to do something um, that will make your life a little bit easier. Okay, to open this, you are just simply going to press it here. It will pop up this end. If it doesn't pop up evenly the first time, just close it and do it again. But then it just flips back and slides forward. Now, on the back of each, and I got ink on me, yes. On the back, we have a label that goes on the end, but there's also this one that is not labeled in any language. And you want to peel that off and it just, it might take a couple tries to get it to lay in here right. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just really for your benefit. So that when your ink pads are open on your desk, you can see what color that is. Because looking at that ink pad, you cannot tell that at all. So when you close it, and it's shut, here is the placard, the title. And so we're going to take this one that says copper clay and loosen it from the back. And by the way, the Take Your Pick tool has two new ends coming in it. We couldn't pre-order those, but those will be coming the first part of May. But you just take this and you just put it on this little section that's right underneath this thumb hole. That way when you are storing it, you'll be able to see easily what color you have. Next up, we have the In Color ribbons, and it's a nice ribbon. Um, it's kind of somewhere between soft and stiff ribbon. Um, I don't really know how to describe it. I think that it will work well for a lot of things. It's not thin like a crinkle seam binding ribbon, but it's not thick like some of our big wide ribbons that you can't use for bows. I think this will be good for knots, bows, um, all kinds of different things. This is a good opportunity to also remind you to go over to the polka.life.com and click on that shop tab. And you can explore all of those last chance goodies. There are a lot of things that are already gone, but there are a lot of great things too. And it's my understanding that some ribbons are still left there. And I'm gonna tell you, Stampin' Up, their textiles are beautiful. They are first rate quality, and you won't find that at a lot of your local craft stores like Hobby Lobby and Michaels. And so if you use paper ribbon on your gifts and packages, you should really reconsider that and switching to actual textile ribbon because some of those are like three or four dollars for a great big 
spool. Your gifts would look so much more impressive if you did that, and you'd probably save some money too. Next up, I have some designer series paper. Now, you know every year Stampin' Up! does a different pattern mixture, but they always have like the same grouping. So this is the in color paper for this year. You have that boho blue, you know, all the different ones here, Pebble Path, Wild Wheat. And I think that these are going to be really interesting. These help you a lot whenever you're just kind of stuck and there's not maybe the right designer series paper that is with that suite, or if you don't want to use a lot of designer series paper, or you've used all that designer series paper. So one side is stripe and one is polka dot, and you get several sheets, and then one is hearts, and then one is this dash pattern. I think that's it, yes. Four patterns then in each one, and they're double-sided. You get quite a few in a package. So this one is the in color, but they also have them for the color families. And the color families have been revamped. So like you'll see, this is the brights, but this is pumpkin pie. It used to be in the regals, but now it is a bright color. And so these are all happy, fun colors. That shows you both the granny apple green and the lemon lime twist. I think that's going to be fun. Just a lot of really, really fun colors. I'm a bright girl. That is my happy place. That is the zone or the family, color family that I always gravitate towards. Next up, let's look at the sweets. There were four different sweets that we could order. This one is called Bright and Beautiful. This is the designer series paper. There are lots of fun geometric kind of things, but some like that kind of almost looks like some of that on the horizon paper we used to have. Um, just different views of those same patterns, some stripes. Again, this one is a stripe that kind of has that pattern in the background. But a lot of good things here. And then also on the back, there are lots of just everyday fun things. Um, I think these will be great for birthdays, celebrations of all kinds. They're just good all around prints. And if any of you are wondering, these are paper sleeves from Stampin' Storage. They come in lots of different sizes. Um, I'll be honest, the sleeves are not my favorite thing. I prefer something that's enclosed, but I will admit that my husband gifted me, my birthday was in March, he gifted me the inserts to my Calyx units. And so I am super, super excited with this unboxing to get everything all set up. And the sleeves are what fits in there. The pockets do not. And I know that some people put their papers in loose. I just like to keep my scraps right with my paper, so that just didn't seem appealing to me. So this is what we're going with, at least for the time being, we're gonna try it. And so this is a specialty paper that is part of that. They're like a window sheet, but with a pattern. And there's two different patterns. I don't know if you can see them better in that with my wood background there, or probably better like this but that is how they go. You could actually even stack them on top of each other and get a really nice pattern. I like that too. This is the beautiful balloons bundle. It is what is included in the bright and, I have to look, bright and beautiful suite. And this has some really fun looking dies. I can't wait to use this die. And then we have a tag that looks great. All sorts of fun images. I like the stamp set too, but I'm really looking forward to this. Next up, let's visit the Countryside Inn Suite. And when I tell you I've been drawn to these blues, it is seriously no joke. This suite has Balmy Blue, Misty Moonlight, Boho Blue, and Night of Navy. And boy, did they work nicely together. This is just what we needed to see. When you get your catalog, just um, know that this paper, you can't really 
Now, granted, we ordered when all we had was our screen. We had the digital copy, and it was hard to see this. But there are some really, really nice prints. We have this. Let's just slide it on across. But look at these bunnies. Let me bring it up a little bit closer. Aren't they adorable? I wish I had had that for Easter. But the B sides are great. I think the back sides are going to be nice for some masculine cards. You might not think the front is, but the backs of a lot of them will be. And here's a nice bird. And the stripe. I like these floral medallions. And this stripe. Oh, the, f I want to say, is it called Forest Friend or Happiness something? Something happy, I don't know, I forget what the name of the suite was in the previous catalog, but I think that a lot of these little creatures are the same, but what a cute little fox. And this is kind of a dot grid pattern with some very tiny flowers. And we have trees, and then little floral pattern on the back of that. The Countryside Corners Bundle is what is featured in this suite of products. And so it is a cling stamp set and it has this large background stamp. I'm gonna be honest, without our stamp apparatus, um, I'm gonna have to just see how I use this. I mean, there are ways around it. If you don't have a big block, you might wanna get one to hold these large background stamps if you do not have the stamp apparatus. But I think it's very pretty, and I think that it'll make some nice backgrounds on our cards. Then we also have these dies, and I think these are going to be very, very fun. And I love this little tiny, teeny, tiny banner one. That will make those, if you like a smaller greeting, that will make those much better to cut out. And then it also has the Countryside Blossoms Embossing Folder. And here is the pattern. I don't know that you can really see much from it here with the lighting, but I think that it's very pretty. Our next suite of products is called Fresh as a Daisy. And like I say, I keep mine in these paper sleeves, but I do keep this back cardboard piece that tells me all of the coordinating colors that are in that paper. And if it doesn't have that back, it just maybe is has the heavy cardboard. I take that heavy cardboard out like this one and I save that for other projects, but I just cut this tag out that's on the plastic and slip it in my sleeve so I can see what it is and what the proper name of it is because I don't always remember. I love that this paper is going to be great not only for card making, but for scrapbooking, I can see this being a really nice scrapbooking page. This great, and I can see cutting this apart for cards. Let's see here, this is the back of that one. This is the back of this one. I think that this particular paper pack takes a lot of these new colors and shows us how to use them. Some of the ones you might look at, like maybe the wild wheat, I think that you may look at that and think, how will I use that? Or the copper clay. And I think that this is a good, I think they're both in here. Let's see, this shows in the catalog, it has copper clay, wild wheat, pretty peacock, boho blue, moody mauve, and pebbled path. So it takes a lot of new colors and shows us ways to mix and match them within. Now you and I all know there are other colors in this pack. You will see them differently maybe than somebody else, but it's it's going to open up that creativity for you. I think that is a super pretty color. Let's see here are the A and B sides of this. I love that. I think that that again shows us how to use that wild wheat. The, that one seems to scare a lot of people from the talk and chatter that I've heard. Um, but I think that this is just a great example of how to use it. Here's another, I think this also would be a great scrapbook page. 
really, really nice. Now we also have some embellishments. These are called adhesive back gems. I think the colors are really pretty and we'll be able to use those on a wide variety of cards. And then we have the stamps and the dies. This is a photopolymer. I love it, it has oops a daisy, so sorry. I think that's really cute. And then we have the great die set and a nice label die in there as well. Large dies, large florals, I love it. Now the final suite of products that we were able to order is called Zucru. And like I say, we could only just do four. There are some other suites of products in here that you all are going to love. There is a wide variety. I think Stampin' Up! does a great job of giving a little bit of something to all kinds of interests. I like that about them. They really, really do put their thoughts in, um, in the way they design things. And at first I was like, oh, I don't know, this might be too kidsy, too whimsy, but there are some things in the suite that will appeal to older and younger as well. So the backs are black and white. So I know a lot of you that might not want to design cards for kids, um, love the black and white for some of your adult and masculine cards. This is the back of this one. I love the armadillo with the gift. I think that's funny. We have a meditating sloth, a cooking goat ram. I'm not sure what it is. Um, this one cracked me up. I have no idea why, but that one just makes me giggle every time that I look at it. Um, and we still have our hedgehog punch, so that will work well with that. And then here we have one for all the music lovers. I love the frog. I think he's really cute too. So this is fun for all the dancers in your life. And here we have all of those who enjoy nature, camping, hiking, all those fun things. I love that. I think that's everything in that one as far as the paper goes. There's a ribbon pack that goes with this also, and look how fun that is going to mix and match and just pop those colors right off the page. Here is the bundle that is part of the Zoo Crew suite of products. It has a cling stamp set. It has a lot of those fun animals on it. And then the dies. I think that um, it's got some balloons and some other little background kind of things, a small cloud that will be nice. Um, this is going to be a nice label, and this is going to cut nice edges on our products. So I think that this is a fun set too. And I didn't even take these out of the package yet, but these are our in-color dots for this catalog, and those are really nice. Um, they're pretty flat actually. They they look kind of large if you look at them, especially the, at my angle from the side, but they're actually really nice. I like those. I know that many of you are seasoned crafters and you love a good punch as much as I do. The two and three eighths circle punch. I'm not sure if we had that size before because I didn't have that one. I'm thinking it might be a new size, but when the new online exclusives came out, they offered the two inch and this. And so I'm thinking the two inch was for people maybe playing catch up. And then this is new. It's bundled with this circle sayings. It's a photopolymer stamp set and it's nice. I love these. Um, let's see. These are, if you ever want to know, look at the front. Images are 85%. So they're quite a bit bigger than this and they're designed to fit within this circle punch. Now, we do have the stylish, we do have the stylish shapes dies that have circles. However, those layering circles are going away. And I think that they really had a lot of feedback that people really liked their circle punches and they really wanted them back. These are great for people, especially who don't own a stamp and cut and emboss machine. These are really, really a nice thing to build your circle punch collection. I never got rid of my circle punches and I never will. I love them. This is another little punch bundle. This is the Little Monkey Builder Punch and the Little Monkey Stamp Set. 
just swinging by to say hi. I'm Bananas About You. So I think that with a lot of these new colors, these are gonna be fun to play with. Here's another bundle. It is um, the Wonderful Thoughts dies and stamp set. This is photopolymer. A lot of really nice sayings here, or I should say they're a little bit different. These go beyond just thank you and happy birthday. There are just a lot of things here, um, just for lots of different occasions. You could even use some of them for multiple occasions. But these have the dies then, like this long one will cut out this, you're wonderful, you're loved, you matter. And I think that these are going to be really nice. These are a lot, um, sort of remind me of the stamp set and dies that Lisa Curcio had done for her million dollar set. These are a little bit like that. And last but not least, I bought the Stamped with Love stamp set. It's photopolymer. These are things like that. You can put this on the back of your card, hand stamped, especially for, you can put that on there. If um, you sell your cards in any way, the angel policy states that this stamp is to be on the back. So this is a way that you can get that stamp. And then I just like these other things. I love this post office little box. That just, that was the one that got me. I really enjoy that. I hope that you found this helpful today and gives you just a little taste of the things that are to come in the next few weeks. And we will have even more things to play with after May the 2nd. As always, remember to be kind, send a card, and do something creative. Bye-bye.